I didn't understand. I was like, why? Why do I have to go through all this? They're not going through this. They're not going through this. Hello there, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Karande. And if you do know me, welcome back. This video, I'm going to be talking about how I went from why me, woe is me, the lowest point I ever been at, to why not me. And then I started changing my life, elevating, realizing I can do anything I want because you're you. You can do anything you want. So if you're interested in hearing more about my story, how you can too, keep watching. My whole life, at some point, I was a complete pessimist. Like you couldn't tell me anything positive. I would just automatically, everything was negative. And not necessarily saying it was my fault and I was a bad person, you know. Some people just can't help it. I was going through a lot of cars. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're good. But yeah, some people can't help it being negative. That's why now, even now, I don't judge people at all for being negative or not having the best outlook because it's not easy, especially in the world we're living in. Going back to myself, when I was a pessimist and not happy at all with anything ever, I was anxious, depressed. I am on a spectrum. So everything, I didn't understand. I was like, why? Why do I have to go through all this? They're not going through this. They're not going through this. They're not going. Like, you know, trying to pass around and be the victim, which of course that stuff was real. I'm still, I, I, I feel like I overcame it. I like, I overcame it fully now. Everything gets better. Cause I had every, I had mental illnesses and disorders diagnosed since I was a kid. I was really like a child, so. And now as an adult, I don't really have, well, of course my autism is gonna still be there and my OCD kind of coincides with my autism, but it, it, it's like a power. I don't even look at it as a burden. I never really did, but actually yes, my OCD, I did look at it like a burden at one point in time, but now I kind of just make it work for me. But as for my anxiety and diagnosed bipolar disorder, my mood, I've been stable. I'm not on, well, I'm not trying to say don't do your medicine because when I wasn't right in my mind and I was like, oh, I don't need this no more, which I did like, yo, like 20 times. Don't do that. Just just think about it first. <laughs> but if you, I, that's a slippery slope. Just just talk to your doctors. Don't be like me. I would just cold turkey and then go back to the doctor. But it's just not what is good for everybody. But basically I'm saying all that to say, that's my background, that's my history. And now these days I'm the most, like everybody meets me. When I tell them, I used to have anger issues. I used to be like, I don't know, I, I don't know. It was very, I was very closed off, reserved, and angry because I was going through these things and I didn't understand why. But now from this side, I'm really kind of grateful I went through everything. Like it was really hard and everything now, if you look at it as hard, it's still hard. But my whole mindset shifted. So now everything is very simple, very easy. I can do anything and I believe in myself. So this is how you start getting into the same mindset. Uh, basically, you have to realize this made like some, I took me like hearing this at least 10 times before I actually took it and then used it and changed my life for the better. But you have to realize, you have to stop being the victim. Like I know things might happen to you where you actually are the victim. Of course, things the same thing to me. Like life has not been easy. My cars that have been dealt, I'm just grateful to be strong enough and to the point where I am now and all that stuff built me up it could have torn me down it almost did i was almost out of here at some point but i'm happy i stuck through with it didn't know what i was doing because i didn't have a plan no more but i have a plan now and everything is all just lining up how it's supposed to so i'm just here to say it's possible it really is possible if you i'm, I'm gonna do more like i'm more motivational right now. i'm just ready for i know what i'm doing i just know like i want everyone <laughs> to feel the same way I feel. Living with anxiety for 19 straight years, like since I was a kid, I literally always had anxiety from my upbringing to the people I was around as a child. It just, I, I developed fears, phobias, strong phobias, counseling for years, medicine for years. And now I'm at the point I'm not in any medicine. I'm very spiritual though, that's the thing. I'm very spiritual. So meditating really calms me down. At first I was the person too, I was like, I can't meditate. I can't even calm down, but that's a different story. Back to the, this story. You have to stop playing the victim. Like there is situations where you are the victim, of course, but you don't even have to look at it that way. Those situations I look at, I'm like, well, it's unfortunate that it happened, but you can't change the past. That's what they mean by living the present. You literally can't, like you can't look, go back and be, you know, you can't do that. So just focus on the present. And some people just act like the past don't even exist. That kind of helps like let go. You have to release that. But as for situations where you're not the victim, but you're playing the victim, like you you did things and it kind of um, backfired or just didn't go as planned. And then instead of being like, okay, well, this happened, this happened. So I know if I try again next time to do this or not to do this or don't do this at all and change your plan. 
instead of doing that and being constructive which is not easy i'm not saying it's like it's very simple it's not it took me a while to get to this point where i am now and honestly i'm just grateful i'm very grateful but instead of doing that what i used to do and many of you probably do you're more like you will see that happen you set something up and it fails or doesn't go as you want it to you know it might not even be a fail and then next thing you know you give up on it you go lay down you go crying is fine i still cry all the time I had cried, let it out, and then I moved forward. <laughs> I don't sit there and wallow in it. Even though I'd be sad, y'all don't even know. Like, if I tell y'all, before this video, I violently threw up three times in the floor, corner of my room, because I had to take an antibiotic for my stitches and then my armpit and my abscess and my boob. And now I'm sitting here making this video, like literally less than an hour ago. Would you believe that? Would you actually believe that? If you wouldn't, I do have evidence, but I'm not gonna show you that. <laughs> But I'm just saying like I didn't I'm not like that was on me because I took the antibiotic on the empty stomach and I was going to eat right after but literally I wasn't it, that was on me so I was sitting there sick let's take me as an example sitting there sick where I could have like oh you know I I just sat there and threw up I did this I did this like of course I, I took my time I got into bed first of all I took all my clothes off I got real hot I got myself together lay down rested closed my eyes just straight rest the lights off no sound for a while and for some people that's great that just gets it done like get your rest you don't have to work too hard especially when you're not feeling well you you need to prioritize your rest and that is what's gonna help you but yeah instead of like hopping in the bed and not filming this YouTube video I rested and got up came got myself together sat down and now we're here so i really just i'm just trying to say like life can be so much better sometimes it seems like everything is external i always thought the same thing i thought everything was external some things you can't control in this world and that's the thing you shouldn't even focus on at all you can't control other people either so like even if you send a text to somebody and you worried about it that's control the let go you don't like what you sent a text that was all you needed to do that was it but yes some things i do to help me stay positive because it's not easy all the time of course other than realizing that i have power in the situations i can control because you do it's very simple you actually do the concept is simple but the action of doing isn't for months and months i wouldn't do i would just think and be like okay i understand but didn't do so everyone is on their own journey i'm just here to give you tips to help you out on it you know since I do have to keep staying positive, I know not everybody's into spirituality, so I like this is not. I don't know how to put this. Meditation has helped me tremendously. Getting in touch with my inner self, like not even you know, you don't even have to believe in anything to do this, but it might help. But believing in yourself, self love, self care, and like positive affirmations. Not even like exactly affirmation, but just thinking more positively starting with yourself the thing you can control that has helped me so much i used to literally all the time think so negative about myself literally be like i'm so dumb this oh then why i do that that was so dumb why you know stuff like that even that little stuff like it didn't seem i was all like at first when i started like trying to fix my thoughts i was like that, that little stuff didn't matter just a little you'd be surprised that stuff actually matters now that i'm on the other side that's what i call it <laughs> The other side of um the bridge i don't know but now that i'm on the other side i can literally look back on every single thing i went through understand why it happened where it went wrong and how i could have made it better but in the situation didn't and just gave in and gave up if something is hard for you i don't know how to explain this if something is hard and if it makes you scared and then honestly it might be the thing you're supposed to do because we don't I'm trying to think of the best way to put it. We just disconnect a little. Like everyone thinks getting things are supposed, it's supposed to be like straight easy, no work. Or, you know, like even fixing your mindset, you think, you know, oh, it's, it's easy. Everything is hard work, but it's really about perspective and how you look at things. Cause you could look at it from being hard. You could look at things as being the victim or you can get lessons from everything and you to just to just better yourself because that's the only thing you can do on this earth is better yourself my goal is to better myself as much as i can to continue to share knowledge and help as much people as i can it's kind of spreading the word spreading the ministry but it's not really a ministry i'm just i just want people to be positive so they can be happy i was just unhappy for so 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 many years i let so many things control my thoughts my mind my behaviors you have power over that i'm here to tell you 
I've been the lowest of the lows, like the lowest of the lows. Like I'm not supposed to be here right now, lowest of the lows, because I did some actions that were supposed to take me out, lowest of the lows. So I'm saying, it starts with you, it's not easy, especially climbing out the deepest holes. But I believe in you. If no one else believes in you, I believe in you. If you have no one to talk to you, comment on my videos. I, I respond to every comment on my TikTok, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, on my everything, on my YouTube. Like, I just, I just have so much love for everyone. I never met, like, I don't know. I, no, I never met anyone. Like, I mean, that sounds, I never met maybe you, but I don't know. I just always have faith, the utmost faith in everyone. Cause if you want to do something automatically i believe in you if it's for the greater good with no harm but yeah that's really it on how i went from why me to why not me now i'm doing more videos on like deeper growth like getting over my fears i i have a few videos or oh, a video getting in touch with my inner child kind of more videos like this but also i have so much to talk about i have so much knowledge y'all i've been deep deep in research like y'all don't believe like maybe like seven hours a research a day for some months at some time so I, I just soak in so much knowledge but i love to learn that's something i always have loved to do but yeah i'm gonna be coming out with more videos if you have any specific videos you would like to see leave a comment below and i will probably make it i just be <laughs> i'm not a people pleaser not like that not like that because yeah but if it interests me and if it's something that you want to see then of course i care about you so i'll make that content for you but that's all for today. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video.